Hard hat, check. Tool belt, check. Mayonnaise, check. Can I fix lunch? Yes, I can. Wendy and Leo don't know how lucky they are today, Pilchard. I'm making them a surprise. Sardine sandwiches a la Bob. <laughs> Morning, team. Morning, Morning Bob. Bob. Let's go. Today, we're finishing work on Chef Tatty's brand new revolving restaurant, the Flying Saucepan. Woohoo! Awesome. It looks like a spaceship. That's the whole idea, Scoop. So I'll be building the kitchen while Leo, Muck, Scoop, and Lofty will decorate this entrance. We'll have a spaceship ramp and moon rocks to make it look like we're on another planet. Yay! Yay! And I'll be wiring the floor so that it turns round and round like a merry-go-round, so diners can enjoy different scenery while they eat. Does that sound fun? Yay! Yay! And for you two, an extra special treat. I've made my speciality dish for lunch. Sardine sandwiches. Yay! Yay. I knew you'd be excited. Hello, Chef Tatty. Oh, it's my favorite team of building buddies. Can we give you a hand? Aye, they're ingredients for my chef's special at the opening banquet tonight. Creamy eggplant fettuccine and flame-grilled meatballs with a hint of rosemary. Mmm, now that sounds delicious. But not quite as delicious as my sardine surprise, huh? Okay, team. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! Great job, everyone. It really looks like the kind of place an alien would call home. Um, what's an alien? Everyone knows what an alien is. It's, a uh, um... Leo, what's an alien? Aliens are little green men. Visitors from a faraway planet. Like tourists? On a vacation. What do they look like? Well, I think they have, um, green skin. And three eyes. And four legs. And for breakfast, they like to eat. Lunch! I'll be back soon. Stay out of trouble, you three. Prepare for liftoff. In three, two, one. Little green men look like friendly little creatures. I'd love to meet one. <gasps> look! Green footprints! With one, two, three, four feet! They must belong to a little green man! Perhaps he's here on vacation in Spring City! Yay! Yay! Come on, everyone! Follow me! The little green man went this way! Ah, oh, that's the last floor panel fitted. Let's take it for a test spin. Bravo! That is beautiful! With this remote control, we can change the speed of the revolving floor. You can even change direction. Great job, Wendy. You've certainly earned your sardine sandwiches. I hope everyone's hungry. Feast your eyes on these delicious crumbs. Someone's eaten all of my sardine sandwiches. Not a problem. Why not just whip up an omelette on the cooktop? Oh, um, I'm afraid I don't know how to make anything fancy. Trust me, my wee building buddy. Anyone can cook. Chef Tatty will teach you. 
You see, cooking is a simple art. This is my paintbrush. Just like this is your paintbrush. That's a hammer. That's sizzle. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Bob. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. OK, Bob. Ready, steady, flip. What happened to the... omelet? Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. <laughs> Tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! Maybe he wants to go home. Uh, uh, uh oh! oh, 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 oh. Help. Bob, do something! Fast! Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh! Got it! Pilchard, care for a sardine sandwich a la Bob for dinner? At least someone likes my cooking. Leo? Chef Tatty? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We've only got an hour until the guests arrive, and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. Mere Madison's the guest of honor, and she's never late. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. Voila! The little green man didn't go home after all. He's decided to stay. He's here. I'll try to talk to him. <clears throat> Greetings, space tourists from a faraway planet. I am your friend, Muck. Hello, Muck. It speaks. Leo? And Pilchard! She's got green paint on her paws! So it wasn't a little green man. But a little blue cat! <laughs> <laughs> now I feel a bit silly. Oh, <laughs> You are a friendly little creature after all. Wow! Doesn't this alien entrance look fabulous, Mr. Bentley? Look, Mayor. There's even a trail of alien footprints. A nice touch. Mm -hmm, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Voila! Mm -hmm. Delicious. 
Thank you, Chef Taddy. <laughs> and thank you, Bob. You truly are a whiz in the kitchen. Just stay away from omelettes and sardine sandwiches. All right, team. Today, Fixum Zoo is getting its first ever giraffe. So we're going to be finishing off the new giraffe enclosure. Yay! Um, what's an enclosure, Wendy? Well, Scoop, it's an area in the zoo where an animal lives. It'll be the giraffe's own special home. Ooh, a real giraffe? I love giraffes. They're my favorite animal because their necks are really, really long. Just like my jib. They are. That's great, Lofty. Now, we'll need you outside. Yes, Bob. You have to lift all our building supplies over the zoo fence. Right, Bob. And the rest of us will be inside finishing the giraffe enclosure. OK, everyone, let's go. fence is really high. I'll never be able to see the giraffe over that. So, we've got the basics done. We just need those materials from Lofty. Okay, everyone. Let's go. Bob? Bob? What's the matter, Jenny? I've lost Gertie. Um... My long-haired Peruvian guinea pig. One minute I was feeding her, and the next minute she completely disappeared. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. I've looked everywhere. Is it my imagination or is Jenny's hair moving? Uh, Jenny, I think there might be one place you haven't looked. Oh, no. Don't make me go back in the monkey house. <laughs> Don't worry. Here she is. Oh, <laughs> who's a naughty girl? <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Well, this is all looking marvelous. I'm sure the giraffe will love it. The giraffe have a name, Jenny, like Gertie does. Not yet, Dizzy. Maybe we can give him a name when he gets here. Right. <laughs> we need to get you back to your enclosure, Gertie. Gertie? Gertie? Oh. Gertie? Gertie, Gertie, Gertie! Gertie! Right. We'd better get moving, then. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Thanks, Leo. Is the giraffe there yet? Is it? Is it? Is it? Not yet, Lofty. We've got a lot more building to do before then. Oh, I know everything there is to know about giraffes. I even know what they have for lunch. What's that, Lofty? Leaves and flowers and fruit and seeds and herbs and vines. <laughs> ah, there. This should keep the giraffe safe in his home. Just the last few rocks to come over, Leo. Where do you want these leaves, Bob? That's the giraffe's food. Just put it over by the viewing platform. Can you lift over the last few rocks, Lofty? OK, Leo. Here they come. Look, Lofty. It's the giraffe. He's here. Welcome to Fix Some Zoo, Mr. Giraffe. 
I can't see it. And I can't move because I've got this load. Wait there, Lofty. I better see if Bob needs my help to get him in. But Leo... He's so tall! Oh, no. I want to see him. Wow! He's amazing! There must be a gap. Maybe, if I get close enough, if I can just peek through... Hello? Lofty! Oh, I'm really sorry, Bob. I just wanted to see the giraffe. <laughs> All that crashing scared the giraffe. He's run off into the zoo. Oh, dear. I've broken everything and made the giraffe run away. Don't worry, Lofty. I'm sure we'll figure it all out. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform? And Scoop, can you help them? Okay, okay Bob. Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. Okay, Bob. Probably lost forever. Oh, no. Don't worry, Lofty. There must be a way to find him. The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. <gasps> That's it. What's it? If it's the giraffe's lunchtime, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. If you drive slowly around the zoo, He's bound to smell the food and come out to get some. Let's go. But go really slowly. I will, Bob. And quietly. Lofty, look! <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Giraffe. Um, come and get some lunch. I've got some yummy, tasty leaves for you. It's working, Lofty. Oh, wow. Look at him. Isn't he great? Now we just need to lead him back to the enclosure. Okay, Bob. Open the gate. Okay, Lofty. Now just put the giraffe's food next to the viewing platform. Lofty. Oh, thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone, for the wonderful job you did. You're welcome. Jenny, what are you going to call the giraffe? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. What about Lofty the giraffe? After Lofty the crane who helped find him. I think that's a marvelous idea. 
Really? After me? Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Hello, Lofty! The giraffe? Yeah. <laughs> Scoop's a nice name too, you know. Should be a simple enough job, Wendy. New barriers at the entrance to the town hall and paving for the driveway. Well, if we're digging all this old stuff up, we'll need to attach Scoop's high-powered breaker. Yes! I love having a turn on the da-da-da-da. It's a breaker, Scoop. A breaker. You really should learn the word. Bob! Oh. Mayor Madison. I want everything looking perfect for the grand unveiling of the statue. Grand, grand unveiling? A statue of what, Mayor Madison? <clears throat> A statue of the most inventive, energetic, and forward-thinking person in Spring City history. Are we talking about a statue of you, Mayor Madison? Yes, we are, Wendy. How did you guess? And when it arrives, Bob, I want you to put it right there. No problem. Oh, actually, I'd better take a photo of you, Mayor, and send it off to the sculptor, or it won't be done in time. Oh, dear. This thing is so finicky. Uh, oh. Oh, hmm, hmm. Come on. Mr. Bentley, I can only hold this smile for so long. Ah, there, all done. I think. There. How does that feel, Scoop? Perfect. I love having a turn on the da 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 da. Scoop, it's called a breaker. It's easy to remember because it's good at breaking stuff up. Oh, I get it now. Can I start it yet, Bob? Can I start it? I'm so excited. Oh, I get nervous when Scoop gets overexcited. And he always gets overexcited when he uses the breaker. What's the breaker? The da 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 No, the da 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 is the da 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 Oh, that's just the noise it makes. Like what, mate? The da 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 I mean the breaker. Uh, look, just try not to get overexcited, please. Now, Scoop, you need to dig down to the level of the string or the rainwater won't drain away properly. Got it? Yep, got it, Bob. Can I start it up now? I want to get breaking! I mean, careful breaking, of course. Can I? Please, 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 please! Okay, Scoop, but only if you help answer one question. What's that, Bob? Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! We don't need to dig down to the Earth's core. Is that far? Whoa! Oh. Look out, Scoop! I just mean, be careful with the da 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 da. Okay, no need to shout. This is so much fun! Well, it works, Bob. It's just not working properly. I'll take a look. No, no. I think I know what the problem is. Twist this knob, switch the voltage. Now, Wendy, try it again. Looking good. Just needed some Bob magic. Oh. Uh, that might be a little fast. Actually, maybe some Wendy magic might be better. Woohoo! This is a life! I love my job! Don't you think you should slow down a bit, Scoop? I can't hear you, Ma. I've got the da 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 on. Shouldn't you be taking that rubble away? Right. Now I can get some real work done without interruptions.
Uh oh. I've sprung a leak. How are you doing, Scoop? Uh, yeah, everything's going fine, Bob. Just having a breather. <laughs> Phew! This digging is hard work, eh? Well, you're doing a great job. Hey, did you hear that? Don't worry, Bob. It's probably just my hydraulics. Oh, yeah, nothing to see here. Well, listen, as a reward for working so hard, you can be the first to test out the new barrier. Really, Bob? That would be awful. No, Bob, I'd better not. Uh, there's still a lot to do. Actually, we're in pretty good shape. Come on, Scoop. Everyone deserves a break now and then. Uh, i just got something I need to figure out. It's, uh... uh you go ahead. I'll see you there. Oh, there go my hydraulics again. Uh, was that Wendy just calling for you? I didn't hear anything. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, gull. I didn't listen to anyone and now I've sprung a leak and got to keep it covered up. Oh, no. Buck's coming. Actually, maybe Muck can help me. Anything else for me to get rid of? Uh, no, not at the moment, Muck. In fact, you could have a little rest if you wanted. I'm fine. No, you look tired. Everyone deserves a break now and then. You know where a grey spot to take five is? Right here. It's been quite a hard morning. Yeah, and we're in pretty good shape. Oh. Okay, Scoop. Try it now. Okay, Wendy. Of course you can, but we should let one of the others have a turn first. Hey, Mott, do you want to have a zoom through the new automatic barrier? Oh, yes, please, Bob. Hang on, Muck. If you're here, then who's... Who's what, Scoop? Uh, uh... Nothing. Doesn't matter. See you in a minute. Whoa! Scoop coming through! Come on, get set! What happened? Oh, Scoop, what have you done? Oh, dear, what have I done? What a mess. What are we going to do now, Bob? About the leak or the paving slabs? Well, one thing's for sure. We're never going to finish the driveway in time for the grand opening. I'm so sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I, I should have told you about the leak. Yes, you should have. But don't worry, Scoop. We'll think of something. But the paving slabs are all broken. They're like puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. Scoop, you've given me an idea. Oh, are we going to go home and do a puzzle, Bob? No, Muck. We're going to lay down some seriously crazy paving. Ready, team? Let's go! Quiet, please. Quiet, everyone, as we unveil this statue of, uh, uh, oh, one of our town's greatest heroes. Ready, Bob? Ready. Go for it, Lofty.
What is that? Oh, uh, dear me. I must have sent the wrong picture. That appears to be, uh, me on my last vacation. Uh-oh. Well, at least someone likes the statue. Well, that's the last vacation you'll be taking for some time, Mr. Bentley. Gentle folk of ye old Fixum Town. Don't I sound dashingly regal, Mayor Madison? Can't talk, Mr. Bentley, busy with my checklist. We can't have a medieval festival without a castle, can we? Castle? Check. I'm very excited about my starring role in the festival tonight. Oh, I wonder what my costume will be like. Moat? Check. It will be my first major part since playing Tap Dancing Pineapple number five in my school play. La, la, la. Portcullis? Oh, the castle doesn't have a portcullis. We'll need one of those. Better get Bob on this right away. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. A new portcullis for the castle? Of course we can do that. We'll be there right away. Excellent news, Bob. See you soon. Oh, 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 oh. Portcullis, Bob, to do. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm off to ye old hat shop to get something special for the festival. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, team, we need to build a portcullis for the castle. Now, does anyone know what a portcullis is? Um, is uh, it a fish? Oh, it's a... Um, it's like a big gate that can be lifted up and down. It was used in olden times to keep people out. That's exactly right, Leo. No castle is complete without a portcullis guarding the way in. And it looks as if we've got some repair work to do on the drawbridge, too. You're right, Wendy. It is a bit rotten right here. But it'll be fine as long as none of the heavy machines go across it. So, you three be careful not to come onto the drawbridge. Okay, okay Bob. Bob. We'll fix it before tonight's festival. But first, we've got a portcullis to make. That's right. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Tell us more about castles, Bob. Yeah, who lived in them? Kings and queens, and their children, princes and princesses, who were like young royal apprentices. Kind of like you, Leo. Yeah, exactly. Just like me. Brave Prince Fixalot and his three knights in shining metal, Sir Scoop, Sir Muck, and Sir Lofty. In the fight for peace and justice, nothing will stand in our way. Whoops! <laughs> Up you get, Your Majesty. Now, it's time to try raising the portcullis. It's very heavy, so you'll both need to crank your winches at the same time. Ready? One, two, three! Make sure you secure your winch, Leo. We don't want the portcullis to fall. Okay, Wendy. Hey, how dare thee trespass? I command thee to retreat, foul beast. Ha! Don't come back. Leo, is everything secure? It is now, Bob. Ha ha ha! That feathery foe was no match for the brave and cunning Prince Fixalot. On guard! Take this! And that! Hoo, ha, hoo. Huh? <laughs> Leo? Ha ha! Leo! Leo! Look out! That was...
wasn't supposed to happen, was it? No, it wasn't. And now Leo is trapped. Uh, ah, fear not, everyone. Nothing Prince fix a -Lot can't fix. I'll simply raise the portcullis like this. The portcullis is too heavy, Leo. It needs two people to crank the winches. <sighs> Guess I'll just have to find a different way out. Another adventure for fearless Prince Fixalot. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What's wrong, Leo? Oh, there's someone else in here! Oh. I think it's a ghost! A ghost? A ghost? Don't be silly. There are no such things as ghosts. Are there, Bob? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> you don't scare me, ghosty. You're no match for the gallant Prince Fixalot. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Leo. The important thing is to stay calm and try not to... <laughs> Panic. Uh, just sit tight. I've got the perfect plan to get you out. That's great, Bob. What is it? Uh, I haven't thought of it just yet. Bob, if we don't think of something soon, we won't be able to get the castle open for the festival. If only I could get inside the castle myself. And then Leo and I could open the portcullis together. Oh, I know, Bob. Climb into my bucket and I'll throw you over the wall. Just like a bag of cement. Uh, thanks, Scoop. But let's try plan B. I just got an idea. And if it succeeds, we'll rescue Leo and get the portcullis open in time for the festival. But we're going to have to work together as a team. It'll take courage, determination, and a healthy dose of axle grease. Can we save Leo? Yes! yes! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we, we can. can! First, we're going to need to fix the drawbridge so it's strong enough for Muck to cross. Okay, Muck, lift the portcullis as high as you can. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. Now don't drop it until I say now. Now? Sorry, Bob. Good luck, Shit. Bob. Watch out for that ghost. Uh, who's there? Go? Is that you? Hello. Your Majesty. Bob? Oh, my hero! Oh. Oh. oh, no! My, my, you look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? Ooh! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Of course not. <laughs> My foot's stuck. Right. There. There you go, Prince Fix a lot. Um, thanks a lot. Done, team! Thanks, <laughs> Bob! The castle is ready for the festival. Oh, that reminds me. I'd better go and pick up the special costume Mayor Madison ordered for me. I wonder what I'll be dressed as. A noble king? A knight in shining armor, perhaps? Oh, gather all ye gentle folk of ye old Fixum town. Come hither through these castle gates and bow down to your crown. All hail 
Queen Madison. For your courageous rescue efforts and restoring my castle to its grandeur, I hereby knight you, Bob the Brave. And commend your tremendous team and valiant vehicles. <laughs> Um, hello? Uh, could someone help me with my hat? <laughs> Not quite what we had planned. Our first clubhouse? Really, Safi? Yeah! Wendy's my hero, and she can build anything. Right, Wendy? <laughs> hero, eh? How can I say no to that? And we can hold our first club meeting today at lunchtime. You want the treehouse finished today? By lunchtime? Yes, please. That's okay, isn't it, Wendy? Of course. I am a hero after all. Awesome! Thank you! It'll be the best clubhouse ever! Okay, team. We're building one fancy treehouse, and we've got half a day to do it. We're going to need a new schedule. Bob and Muck, you go back to the yard and cut the timber for the support beams. Lofty, you stay here and help me, and then I'll call Dizzy to pour cement for the foundations. Well, Hero Wendy, it's your job. I think you'd better say it. Really, Bob? Okay, then. <clears throat> can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Scoop, sorry, but I can't be disturbed. I need to get these support beams cut to size. What are you doing now? Same thing as just now. Scoop, if you're bored, why don't you straighten up the new delivery of rocks? Phew. Oh, sorry, Bob. Did I disturb you? Floor painted, check. Paint drying, check. Hey, I'm here to help get the treehouse ready. Lofty, according to my schedule, it's time to hang that rope ladder. Uh, Wendy? Yes? You know that floor panel you just painted? Yes. Um... Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! Wendy, what's wrong? Is everything okay with the treehouse? Yes, everything's fine. I just need to check the paint. Phew, because I really want to amaze the others. Lofty, change to the schedule. I'm now repainting the floor. Thanks, Muck. Can you take them to Wendy and quickly? I'm a little behind schedule. Isn't that right, Scoop? Don't worry, Bob. They'll be straightened in no time. 
Hi, Wendy. Just checking in. I've got the rope ladder in place, the viewing deck ready, and I'm just about to fix the windows. What about the flag for the top of the treehouse? There's a flag. I haven't got a flag on the schedule. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make the flag. <laughs> Oh, after I fix my workbench. Hold it steady, Lofty. This glue will set the window, but it's very sticky. We don't want to touch it. How sticky is very sticky? Look, Wendy. Pictures of all the Spring City Rockets' favorite things. They're going to be so impressed. Careful of the sticky stuff, Safi. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll protect the window. Done. Come on, Wendy. Now we can hang the zip line. What's the matter, Wendy? Is everything okay? The treehouse will be ready, won't it? Everything's fine, Safi. You go. I'll be along in a minute. <gasps> Oof! Oh, I see. It's very, very sticky. Okay, everything's in place. Dizzy's arrived with the cement. We just need Bob to bring the flag. Wendy! I've just had the best idea! We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse! No, Safi, wait! Dizzy's pouring in cement! That's what's going to hold the support beams in place. Making the treehouse strong and sturdy. The cement has to dry before you can use the treehouse. Okay? Sure. I can wait. There! Now the rocks are ready. Um, Scoop, you should have put the big rocks at the bottom. Why? What's going to happen? Uh, that. That's what's going to happen. Uh, can you help me clean them up? Sorry, Scoop. It's not on Wendy's schedule. We'll have to deal with them later. Come on, let's go. Enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. All done, Wendy. Poured to perfection. Thanks, Dizzy. So, what's next on the schedule? Can you wait with Muck and Lofty until the cement sets, and then we can check that the job is finished? Sure thing. How's it going, Hero Wendy? Well, I had to paint the floor panel twice, unstick myself from the wall, and then reseal the window. Some hero I am. Ah! Help! What was that? Oh, no! Sappy! Ah! Why were you up there, Sappy? The treehouse isn't ready yet. I guess I didn't wait long enough for the cement to dry. <gasps> the trophy! It's still up there! What have I done? Don't worry, Safi. I'll get it. Wendy, it's too dangerous. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, it's too far down. Oh. I'll lower you. Bob, get me out of here. Ease the line, Bob, quick! Let him go! <sighs> My hero. What happened? I'm so sorry. I didn't wait for things to set properly. Now we don't have a clubhouse. We've still got time to fix it. Right, Wendy? Team, there's a new schedule, and I need all wheels on deck. Now! Well, you're better at straightening tree houses than you are at straightening rocks, Scoop. <laughs> yes, they're easier to balance. Hold on. 
We have to wait to see if the cement is dry before we can use the treehouse. Right, Wendy? Right, Safi. Yep, the cement is dry, so the treehouse is ready to use. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! You. So, what do you think? I want one! I want one! I want one! <sighs> Room in your schedule for three more, Wendy? Of course. I am a hero after all. Morning, all. Hi, Bob. Hello, Sappy. And who's this? He's Rex, and he's my dog. Hello, Rex. <laughs> Excuse me, Sappy, while I tend to my cat. Don't worry, Pilchard. It's only a checkup. Oh, Bob and Pilchard. Take a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. New dog, Tilly? Who, Cooper here? No, I'm just doggy-sitting him. <gasps> yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, ahem. excuse me one moment. Morning. Yes, this is the vet. Well, I can fit you in later today. Sorry, it's sort of noisy here. Uh, can you speak up? Good doggy. Heel. Stop. <laughs> Rex! Oh. oh! Oh, goodness! Are you all right, Safi? Yes, fine, thank you. What happened? Just a guess, but I think Cooper likes to chase cats. Here, Cooper. Good dog. Sit. 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 Whoa! Oh. Bob, what am I gonna do? That was Mayor Madison on the phone. She's bringing her cat in to be groomed for a special photo. Oh, what if Cooper chases the mayor's cat? Maybe you should have a reception area that keeps cats and dogs separate. Then you'd never have a problem. And could you build that for me today, Bob? Oh, that would be great. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, okay, I'll do that then. Stay. That's a good boy. <laughs> Once Cooper settles down. The mayor and her cat are arriving this evening. We have to get this job done today. That is not a lot of time. Oh, and can you keep an eye on Cooper? He can't come on my rounds. I've got a lot of cats to see today. All right, team. We're gonna turn the vet's reception area into two rooms. One room for the cats to wait in. And one room for the dogs. It's a simple enough job, so let's get to work. Wait a minute. This makes a really loud noise. It might scare Pilchard and Cooper. I can take care of Pilchard and Cooper. I'm really, really good with animals. Just watch. Uh, Leo, you can't take them together. Remember, they need to be kept separate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. I'll take one at a time. In the meantime, we can do all the jobs that aren't so scary for the animals. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
Bob! I'm ready to start digging out the new path. Hold on, Muck. Leo is supposed to be taking care of Cooper before we start any noisy work. And Leo had better hurry. We're running out of time. I wonder where he is. Here, Pilchard. Pilchard, come to me. Oh, please. Bob's waiting to start work. Now to take care of Cooper. No, Pilchard! Careful! Ow! 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 Right. No one should touch the new plasterboard walls. The paint's still wet. Um... Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <laughs> then I'll come back to help you cut out the wall and lay the path. Now can I dig out the new path? Not yet, Muck. Now you have to wait for Wendy to come back. And yes, I know, Lofty, time is running out. <laughs> Good, Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get Cooper! Pilchard! Stop, Leo! That's pet shampoo! And the floor will be slippy! Don't worry, Wendy. <laughs> Wait any longer. Muck, Lofty, you're gonna have to start the path by yourselves. Yeah! Oh, goodness. And I'll go and find the others. Cooper! Look out! Cooper, no! out I'm not that good with animals really I hadn't noticed can someone please separate this cat and dog I have a path to lay hey don't dogs like to play ball Maybe you are good with animals after all. Ha! I knew it! Okay. We haven't got much time until the mayor and her cat arrive. Let's get this job finished! Yes, yes Bob! Bob. Is perfect. <laughs> Hello, 
I have Lady Tibbles here to see the vet. Her fur needs a good fluffing and puffing out. Oh, yes. Through the cat door, please, Mayor Madison. Who's my pretty little darling? Thank you. Thank you so much. Excuse me, Bob. Would you mind taking our photograph? It's for the town hall newspaper, you know. Of course. No problem. And smile. Cooper! No! Not Lady Tibbles! Oh! Oh, oh no, stop it! Get down, boy! Oh. Down! Bob! Do something! Happy birthday, Curtis! I can't believe it. How old? Yeah, Dad. You're not getting any younger. Mm, thanks, Leo. Come on, we better go. I'm starving. A great big lunch at Chef Patty's, huh? Now that's a super birthday treat. Now, Bob, until we get back, you'll handle things here at my garage. Are you sure you understand how this place works? No problem, Curtis. Relax. I am relaxed, kind of. Just remember my motto. At Curtis's Garage, we, we put, put the, the service, service into service station. Nice one, Bob. <laughs> well, when you're told something ten times, it tends to sink in. Come on, Alfred. Let's go. Happy birthday, Curtis. <laughs> They're gone, Wendy. It's time for part two of our secret plan. Okay, team, this is the secret plan. While Leo is keeping Curtis busy, we are going to be working on a big birthday surprise for him. Oh, wow! Is it a pile of gravel? I love gravel. Is it gravel, Bob? No, Muck. It's not a pile of gravel. We're giving Curtis's garage workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. What your problem is, buddy boy, is your brakes are all shut. <laughs> well, I need you to be a builder today, Scoop, because we're putting up a new roof, a new sign, and best of all, installing a new vehicle inspection lift. What's a vehicle inspection lift? Well, Muck, it's a... Uh, uh... It's all right, Lofty, I'll explain. A vehicle inspection lift is a lift to raise vehicles off the ground so they can be inspected underneath. Exactly. Now, we've got a lot to do in not a lot of time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. All together, meet again. We're working as a team. We are the same team, 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 team. Everybody shout high five. Maybe we could just get a sandwich from that cafe and head back. A sandwich? I'm just worried about leaving someone else in charge. Oh, come on, Dad. It's not someone else. It's Bob. And it's your birthday. We're about to eat at the best restaurant anywhere in Spring City. So just relax and enjoy it. Prepare for liftoff. I am relaxed. Slowly. Gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent job. Oh, that's one cool machine. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally fix a car. No problem with the help of one of these. What's Scoop talking about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What may I do for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Tatty? The quickest? Oh, oh, well, the minute steak, that takes a minute. I'll take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, OK, good, good. And, uh, ham and mushroom pizza. What's that? It's a pizza with ham and mushrooms on it. And how about the burger and fries? Is that 
Uh, Fries and a burger, yeah? Mmm, yummy. I think I'll have all of them. All of them? No. I'm a bit hungry. Okay, Mr. Bentley. I think all the tires are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little bit more in this one. What do you think, Philip? Very well, sir. Okay, then. Just a little bit. A little more. A little more? Uh, no, I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a line building up. Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. I'll be with you soon. We need to get going with hanging the neon sign. I know, but I promised to put the service into service station. Why don't you let out some of the air and we'll start again? <sighs> Uh, hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're gonna have to stall your dad for a bit longer. Uh, sure thing. So, gentlemen, how about some dessert? No thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh, actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? Oh, now that's one healthy appetite. <laughs> There. Now, what do you think, Bob? Isn't it flashing ever so slightly too quickly? Huh. Well, it looks okay to me, Mr. Bentley. Or maybe it's flashing ever so slightly too slowly. Let's check it against the other turn signal. So, how are you, Betsy? Well, uh, I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see? Sounds like junk in your trunk. I beg your pardon? You need to get that looked at quickly. But Curtis isn't here and Bob's much too busy. Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. Yes, I do, don't I? Thank you. In fact... Follow me! Coming through! Coming through! Minibus in need of immediate mechanical attention. Just hop on there, Bets. Scoop? What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I always get worried when he says that. I really don't think you should mess around with the lift before Bob checks it's working, okay? Here we go. Up, up, up. That should do it. Now, where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Oh, no! Betsy! Betsy! Are you okay? I'm fine, Bob. A small little scratch to my paint job, but it looks like your new garage roof got it worse. Oh, I should never have put Betsy on the lift. Now I've damaged her and the new roof. I'm a useless mechanic. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. I can handle the damage to the roof and respray Betsy, too. You know, the view from up here is amazing. I can see all the way to Spring City. Oh, there's Curtis and Leo coming down the road. Oh, no! We've not finished the workshop yet, Bob. How are we going to stop Curtis and Leo getting back? I've ruined Curtis's birthday surprise, too. If anyone needs mechanical attention, it's me. That's it. Good job, Scoop. You've just given me an idea. Hi, Bob. We're on our way back. I couldn't eat anymore. Listen, Leo, we need more time to finish the workshop. I've sent Scoop down to meet you. He might need some, uh, mechanical attention. Okay, Bob. I get it. Bye. Uh, not so fast, please, Alfred. Nonsense, Alfred. Fast as you can. Two of us. Well, Scoop, what's the problem? I've got this funny rattle. Well, I can't hear anything. Yeah, you've, you've got to listen carefully, really carefully, really, really carefully. <coughs> rattle? Oh, uh, I heard that, yeah. Yes, I definitely rattled there.
All right, that's the lift, the roof, and the sign all done. I think we're all ready for the birthday boy. Not quite. I've got one more surprise up my sleeve. Well, you'd better hurry because here they come. Happy birthday, Curtis! Wow! My workshop! I don't know what to say! It was all Leo's idea. And I baked this for you, too. That's amazing! Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everyone! And Leo, how can I ever thank you for such a wonderful surprise? Well, by the look of him, don't offer him any cake. Well, the Spring City Ice Rink is coming along. Not too much left to do. We should be finished by the end of the week. I can't wait to see the Rockets play ice hockey on it. Looks like you don't have to. Over here! To me! Whoa! They're so fast! They'll be even faster on the ice. Wow! Playing hockey looks like so much fun! <laughs> I'm afraid ice and machines as big as you don't really mix, Muck. Oh. Oh, JJ, Brandon, oh, Safi. Oh, save the game for later. Remember why you're here. Hmm? Sorry, <laughs> Betsy. Uh, hello, Rockets. Um, Bob, we were supposed to be playing an ice hockey match at the Spannertown rink tonight. But their chiller broke down and the ice melted. So we wondered, uh, if... We could play here instead? Oh, uh, um... I'm sorry, guys, but it's not really ready. Oh, please! 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 please. What if we worked really fast? We can work really fast. Well, um, maybe we could... Could? Bob said they could! Uh, Yay! They, they could! could. Uh, Yay! Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Bob's the best! That's enough Bob-hugging for one day. Come on, jump in, Rockets. I'll bring you back later for a final practice. Uh, what just happened? You just told the Rockets that we would have the rink finished by tonight. I did? Then in that case, we will. Hooray! Yay! All right. Wendy and I will go to the yard to pick up the clear plastic panels that will surround the rink. While you guys get cracking. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Great. Cold as a polar bear's nose. Where do we get the ice from, Leo? We make it ourselves. With water. That's right, Lofty. When the water touches the pipes, it gets colder. And when it's really cold, it turns to ice. You mean ice is just solid water? Exactly. Wow. Does it? Almost there. Almost there. That's it, Tutan. Perfect. Right. That's everything. Yep. We'd best get back and see how the rest of the team's doing now. Hmm. It must be ready by now. Wow. Things really do go faster on ice. <sighs> I've always wanted to be a little bit faster. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, oh. <laughs> I'm playing ice 
ice hockey! The water on the ice rink should have frozen by now. Fancy a quick skate before the Spring City Rockets arrive, Bob? Hmm, maybe. I used to love skating when I was a kid. Take it from me, Bob. Ice is no fun at all if you're a machine. Had some bad experiences, have you, Teuton? Bad? I'll say. The frozen north was the worst, Wendy. The roads in the north were simply treacherous. Ice everywhere. Trucks and buses sliding all over the place. Teuton, I said to myself, you're gonna have to go very, very slowly up here in the frozen north. Teuton? Yes, Wendy? There's no ice on the roads in Spring City, so we don't have to go slowly here, do we? No, no, of course not. No ice on the roads here. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> it takes me back, though, thinking about it. And it's a good thing I did go slowly in the frozen north, because one day... <laughs> there are too many bricks here for me to carry in one trip, Leo. That's OK, Scoop. We can get Muck to carry those. Um, where is Muck? I haven't seen him in hours. Muck, what are you doing? Hey, Scoop, catch this! Scoop, no! Now get this one! I want to turn. Oh, Lofty, not you too. Slow down, Lofty. I can't. Oh, no. And so that, you see, is how I survived the icy dangers of the frozen north. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome, Bob. Well, it looks like they've started cleaning up. They must be almost finished. Oh. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. <gasps> Watch out! They're just coming through! Oh, dear. Sorry, Bob. I did try to warn them. Don't worry, Leo. Scoop! Stop! My God, Bob! Neither can I! What are we going to do? I think the first thing would be to get this bunch off the ice. Oh, thanks, Lofty. Your turn now, Muck. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Should I start my engine? No, uh, no. Uh, please don't do that. Just leave everything to me. Ready? I'm really sorry, Bob. I thought playing ice hockey would be fun. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. That's okay, Muck, but it was very dangerous. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? The barriers are broken and we still have to get all the clear plastic panels up. It'll take hours to carry everything around the rink. There is one way we can do it faster. How, Mac? You know how things move faster on ice? Well, sliding!
That was a really good idea, Mark. Not bad for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and just in time. You did it! We've got time to practice before the game. It's so cool. You're welcome. Good, aren't they? And we've got great seats for when the game starts later. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job fixing those panels, Leo. <laughs> yeah, I did. I would never have passed like that. Me neither. That was way off to the left. The thing you have to remember, Lofty, is that ice hockey is a very fast game. You have to stay in control. How are we doing, Bob? Do you think we'll be finished in time? Of course we'll be finished in time! Yes, the new wing of the Natural History Museum will be ready for when Mayor Madison comes to inspect it this afternoon. Uh, Bob, why is it called a Natural History Museum? Well, Muck, that's because it's a collection of things that you find in nature, like animals and flowers. And some of them are from past times, like Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs! That's why these doors are so huge, Leo. So that we can get the dinosaur skeleton inside. A dinosaur skeleton? Oh, cool. Mr. Bentley gave me all the measurements. The skeleton should fit in without any trouble. Wow! I can't wait! Okay, Lofty. Let's get these doors in place. Excuse me? Door handles. I left the door handles back at the yard. I'll have to go back for them. No problem. Plenty of time. We're almost done. Okay, then. Muck can take me. You keep working here. And when you get back, Bob, everything will be finished. Great. I'll be back soon. Real dinosaur skeleton. I can't wait. Just be a minute, Muck. Hmm, door knobs, door knockers, door numbers. Ah, door handles. What on earth? Ooh. 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 You two stop it! You're making me dizzy! Cooper, stop that! I don't know what you're doing here, Cooper, but I don't have time to take you home right now. What are you going to do, Bob? You can't leave him here with Pilchard. You'll just have to come back with us to the museum while I deliver these door handles. And then I'll take you home. Um, you missed a bit there. There! Everything's ready. Uh, what's in the bag? Oh, just my sandwich for lunch. I didn't want to miss the arrival of the magnificent Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I thought I could eat my lunch while you lot unload the skeleton. If you're waiting for a dinosaur, it's your lucky day. I've got a really large one here. It's amazing! Very impressive. Lovely bone structure. Okay, let's get it inside. 
Oh, careful now. That skeleton is 65 million years old. Thank goodness it's not a new one. Easy does it. Hold it still a minute. I gotta get some pictures. Oh, beautiful. That doesn't look right. That is never going to get through there. What? But I gave you the exact measurements. What have you done? Oh, you told Bob the doors had to be six yards wide and three yards high. Yes. No. I, I, oh, I meant to say six yards high and three yards wide. Oh, dear me. Uh-oh, this is very bad. The door is too short and the dinosaur is too tall. It's never going to fit inside. But it has to. Mayor Madison is coming soon to make sure everything's ready for tomorrow's opening. But there's no way that dinosaur is going to get through those doors. What about sideways? Scoop. Uh, there might be a way. If we take the skeleton apart, we can carry all the bones inside, then put them back together again. I don't think that's such a good idea, Lofty. We shouldn't do anything drastic till Bob gets back. But it's getting late, and Mayor Madison will be here soon. I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Come along, everyone. There's a T-Rex to take apart. Dear, this thing is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh dear. No, I can't be right. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Oh, this large one must be part of the uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, doesn't seem to fit. Oh, uh, what about this small one, then? It's part of the tail, isn't it? it uh, or maybe the left foot? No? Oh, dear. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and width all mixed up. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big puzzle, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it all apart. Wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Oh, that's where that piece goes. Oh, yes, splendid, splendid. Now we've got no time to lose. Let's get this figured out before the mayor arrives. Now I can relax and maybe even get to eat my lunch in peace. No, wait. What? There's one bone missing. But there can't be. It's impossible. Where can it have gone? <laughs> Cooper! <laughs> now what? <laughs> Cooper? That's a good boy. Give me the bone. Come on, Cooper. Good doggy. Let us have the bone, please. <laughs> oh, dear me. Mayor Madison will be here any second. Ah, if only we had something tasty we could offer Cooper instead of that bone. What, like a tasty scrumptious sandwich? But, but that's my lunch. 
Well, I think I can hear the mayor coming along now. Couldn't we just... Well, um... Oh, all right. Here you are. Here, Cooper. Yummy sandwich. Come on, boy. Hi, team! Hi, Hi Mayor Madison. Madison! Well, who'd have thought? Spring City's very own T-Rex skeleton. Any problems getting it here, Mr. Bentley? Problems? No, no, no. I supervise the whole operation. You know you can always trust me to get the job done without any fuss. Oh, 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 oh Cooper! Oh, oh, Mr. Bentley, oh, stop playing with oh, that dog. Uh, I want no, to see the dinosaur. Uh, I never knew Please. Mr. Bentley liked animals so much. Oh, boy, <laughs> get off me. No, 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 no. Jenny sounded very urgent on the phone. I wonder what's up. Bob! <gasps> Bob! Oh, Bob, there you are. I need you to finish building the bear enclosure. The new bear is arriving next week. Don't worry, Jenny. We'll have it finished long before then. Thanks, Bob. This is really special. There hasn't been a bear at Fixum Zoo for years and years. You know, I remember seeing the last bear when I was a little boy. So why can't the new bear live in the old enclosure, Jenny? Ah, oh, there's a reason for that. This is the pit where the bears used to be kept. Now it's a picnic area for visitors. It's very small. Yes, and now that we know more about keeping bears, we wouldn't keep them here. They need lots of room and a more natural habitat to be happy. What's a habitat? It's the surroundings where you live, Muck. Will the bear be sad if it doesn't have a nice place to live? Or will it get angry? Bears are big and fierce and live in the woods and the mountains. Oh, I don't want to see an angry bear. Don't worry, Muck. I've got a special plan to keep the bear happy. I'll keep you posted on our progress, Jenny. Uh, it's not much of a habitat. It will be, Muck. We're going to build Bear Mountain. <gasps> It'll have three different levels for the bear to climb over, with a pool of water at the base for swimming and a cave for shelter. A mountain! We're going to build a mountain! Woohoo! Uh oh. Bears are strong with sharp claws, so everything has to be heavy duty. That half pipe will make the perfect cave. And we wouldn't want the bear puncturing a plastic pool liner, so we have a concrete one. Okay, team, let's go! It's beginning to look like a real mountain. It's a bit bare for the bear. We're not finished yet, Muck. We still need to make it look more natural. So we've ordered some trees and bushes. Once planted, they'll help to stop the soil from washing away when it rains. Come on, Leo. Let's go and get them all. And I should tell Jenny how well we're doing. Scoop, you're in charge. Thanks, Bob. Just add some more rocks and soil to the top layer, but don't pile it up too high. OK, Bob. Finished. Hmm. It's not as high as I imagined. I think we should make it taller. Then it will be super impressive. We shouldn't build it too high, Scoop. It's a mountain. It has to be high. But what if that's not what Bob wants? A big, fierce bear needs a big, tall mountain to be happy. Come on. 
Just a tiny bit bigger. Well, okay. If it'll make the bear happy. And not quite so fierce. Lofty? So long as it's only a tiny bit bigger. Yay! Let's do it! What? We're not ready! Bob! Bob! What's wrong, Jenny? It's the bear! Oh, no. Don't say it isn't coming. Oh, it's coming, all right. But it isn't arriving next week. It's arriving today! Oh, what are we gonna do? No, no, it's still not big enough. Aren't those rocks supposed to go around the pool? We just need a few more. Uh, the mountain looks quite high to me, Scoop. Real mountains are a hundred times bigger, and we need to make this as real as possible. You wouldn't want the bear to be sad, would you, Lofty? Uh, no, of course not. Then let's build it bigger. I suppose a bit more won't hurt. One more rock. One more bucket full. Don't worry, Jenny. We're way ahead of schedule. We'll finish the enclosure in time. Hi, Bob. We brought a few more trees than I planned. Somebody couldn't choose between one tree and another. So we took both. And we got blackberry and blueberry bushes, too. Good choices. Bears love berries. We'll be done soon, Jenny. I'm looking forward to seeing it. One more rock. One more pallet. Just one more tiny bucket full. Stop! The mountain can't take any more. It's going to collapse! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Oops. The bear's arriving on the next plane. Are you ready? Are you? Oh! Bob, where did the bear's habitat go? Oh. Don't worry, Jenny. Just a little mix-up with the foundations. Bob will make it right. Hmm. What happened, Scoop? I'm so sorry, Bob. I just wanted to give the big, fierce mountain bear a big, tall mountain to live on so that it would be happy. Sorry, Bob. I'm really sorry too, Bob. I should have known better. No, Lofty, I persuaded you to build it higher. I'm sorry, it really is all my fault. Jenny's in a panic. I hope you have a backup plan, Bob. I didn't design the mountain to be as tall as Scoop wanted, but I do like his idea. Awesome! Yes, and? If we use shingle and concrete as the base instead of shingle and soil, we could build four different levels instead of three. Can you bring us some quick drying concrete, Tutan? I can bring some now, Bob, before I collect the bear. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome. And then we'll all have to work extra hard to get it finished. We will, Bob. Anything you say. You can count on us. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. everyone. What do you think of our mountain now, Scoop? Bigger and better than I ever imagined, Bob. You are one smart guy. It's here! It's here! The bear has arrived! <gasps> oh, Bob, it's wonderful! 
Thank you so much. Phew. That crate is huge! There must be a massive fierce bear inside! If there is, it's been very quiet. Let's see it. Would you do the honors, Lofty? No problem, Bob. Where's the bear? Oh, is it a fierce one? There it is. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm sure the bear was supposed to be a fully grown adult. Oh, fantastic! I didn't realize I was getting two bears. A mother and her cub. Oh. It's lucky we made the mountain bigger after all, huh, Scoop? That was a good idea of yours. Oh, they like it. I'm going to call the mountain Scoop's Peak. Really? Wow! I've got a mountain named after me! Oh. I'd like a mountain named after me. I'd sure like a mountain named after me, too, Bob. Oh, no, guys. No more mountains ever. Oh. One, two, one, two. We're the Spring City Rockets group. We're super at athletics. Gently, Bentley. Bend the knees. Oh dear. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh. Hundred and one. Hundred and two. Oh, hi everyone. I didn't see you there. Nice try, Dad. Why is everyone acting so strangely today? Everyone's training to compete in this afternoon's fun run. Fun run? Ha! I don't see what's so fun about running. It's lots of fun and a great way to stay fit and healthy. The competitors will be running along the fitness trail we've been building this week. That does look like fun. I wish we could join in. In a way, we will be, Scoop, by finishing the final obstacles in the fitness trail. A rope ladder, climbing frame, and a swing bridge. Yeah. Oh. Hiya, Team Bob. Is everyone excited about finishing the fitness trail? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the sporting spirit. Wow. Sky Sampson, Spring City's most famous athlete and world champion. Sky will be organizing the fun run. Tell me, Sky. How did you manage to break world records in running, swimming, and the egg and spoon race? Never give up! Or forget your fruits and veggies. I'm a big fan of broccoli for breakfast. Broccoli for breakfast? Yeah! Bob, can we have broccoli tomorrow? No, Scoop. You're a machine, remember? You have a diet of diesel. Oh, that's right. All right, everyone. We've got a fitness trail to finish. You heard him. Let's go, Team Bob! Climbing frame complete. Super job, Team Bob. Oh. No time to rest. As a special treat, I've signed you all up for the fun run. Who's excited? Me. 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 Not me. Super. Then let's get training. First up, star jumps. Go, Team Go! Leo. Is so. I'm exercising my thumb. How am I doing, Sky? Careful, Scoop. Sorry. I'm just excited about competing in the fun run. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, Scoop, but you're not competing. Oh, but I want to break a world record, just like Sky. I'm sorry, Scoop, but the fitness trail is only built for people. Speaking of which, could you two give me a hand with the swing bridge, please? We'll need to tie the ropes with strong knots. It's not fair. 
Everyone else gets to have fun in the fun run. Unless... Uh-oh. Oh, I've just had an awesome idea! Yay! Whenever you say that, something not awesome happens. Not this time, Lofty. Guess what? We're going to have our own super fun spotting event! Diggers, Stumpers and Cranes, welcome to... The Muscle Machine Games! Yay! Yay! He's tall, strong and blue. He'll lift you up and carry you away. Please welcome... Lofty! Go Lofty! Give it up for the big red dump truck with the big red heart. Look! That's me. And finally, he's the digger with the athlete's figure, Scoop! <laughs> Go Scoop! Thanks, Dizzy! And good luck, everyone! Especially me. As it's the first Muscle Machine Games ever, every event will score a world record! Yes! I can't fail! Round one, weightlifting! Ready, set, lift! <laughs> The winner is... <gasps> the Big Blue Crane! Wow. I've never won anything before. Well done, Lofty. That's a new world record. How did you do it? Well, simple, really. Powered by hydraulics, I extended my arm upwards to achieve a superior height to my competitors. Round two. with my eyes closed. Maybe you should have tried it with your eyes open. Oh. I'm red all over. You're always red, Muck. Good job, Muck. Machines, I need you all back on site, please. Be there in a minute, Bob. Just after I set a record. Final round. Race to the far tree. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ready? That wasn't as hard as I thought. Scoop, what have you done this time? I'm sorry, Bob. I just wanted to be like Sky and break a record. Well, you definitely broke something. Oh, dear. The fun run starts in an hour, and we haven't even finished the rope bridge. Oh. Uh oh Oh, no. The game's not over just yet, team. We can fix this if we all rely on our best abilities. Lofty, I'll need your amazing weightlifting strength. Sure thing, Bob. And Muck, I'll need your powerful bucket. No sweat. What's wrong, Scoop? Oh, I messed up everything for Sky's fun run. And I wasn't very good at sports either. And Scoop? Yes, Bob? You're an all-round all-star. I'll need your speed, ability, and digging power. Yes, Bob! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! That's the sporting spirit!
everyone. The most important thing about a fun run is to have fun! And eat your broccoli. Go! You can win Come this one, Mew! Oh. Hi, Dad! Bye, Dad! I uh, should have worn a sweatsuit all! <laughs> <laughs> Impressive rope craft, if I do say so myself. Hooray! Congratulations, everyone! And as for you, young Scoop... Oh, wow! What's this for? You set a new record! The tie toss over a street lamp. You mean I'm a world champion? Awesome! Three cheers for Scoop! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Yep, awesome, all right. Now, how am I gonna get that tire off there? Mayor Madison, I wish you'd tell me why we're here. No, 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 no. C'est terrible. This will not do. Monsieur de Souza. Enchanté. Mm -hmm. Mayor Madison, I'm afraid ballroom blitz must be cancelled. Cancelled? But why? Ballroom Blitz? Sylvan's hit TV dancing show. It's on tour, so I arranged for a performance here tomorrow night. But I cannot dance here. There is no atmosphere, no lights, no mirror ball. And most importantly, no sprung dance floor. What if I can get you all of those things by tomorrow night? Then I will perform the first dance with you. Do you tango, Madame Mayor? Oh, yes, Sylvain. I do. My cell phone, please, Mr. Bentley. Hello, Mayor Madison. Bob, you just have to make my dream of dancing with Sylvain de Souza come true. Uh, how do I do that exactly? By getting the stadium ready for ballroom blitz tomorrow night. Not just for me, Bob, but the people of Spring City. Consider it done. Fabulous. Oh. Hello? Mayor Madison? The mayor is uh, indisposed, Bob. I'll email you a full list of requirements. Uh, great. I'll be on site first thing in the morning. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Have you ever built a sprung floor, Wendy? No, but I've danced on one. I had ballroom dancing lessons when I was little. Here. Sprung floors absorb shock, so they feel softer to dance on. And they can stop you hurting yourself, too. Oh, that one looks just right for ballroom blitz. Bob! I'm so excited about tonight. Do you dance, Bob? Ah! Obviously not. Sorry. If you can count, you can dance, Bob. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Lovely, Mayor Madison, but I think we need to move on. <laughs> of course. Come with me. I'll show you where Sylvan wants the dance floor. I never thought I'd see Mayor Madison go all girly over some dancer from a TV show. Can you start unloading, please, Leo? Yep. I'll just moonwalk this way. Ooh, you're going forwards and backwards. Moonwalking, it's a dance. Oh, let me try. You're just going backwards, Scoop. Oh, I suppose I am. Can you teach me another dance, Leo? Mayor Madison said that if you can count, you can dance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> you have to count in a rhythm, Muck. One, two, three. One, two, three. I get it. Me too. One, two, two three. One, two. two. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can't do that one. I bet you can do this, Lofty. Whoa. Sorry. Whoa, I'm dancing. Oh, I'm the wrong.
wrong shape for dancing. Oh, that's silly. Everyone can dance a little bit. It's how it makes you feel, not how you look that matters. Come on, let's unload. We put these rubber pads on the bottom layer of battens, then put another layer of battens on top of those at right angles. Like squares? Good, Leo. And then we put a final layer of battens on top at right angles again. It's a pattern, like weaving a basket. So that's 35 yards long. Ooh, what's that? It's a mirror ball to hang over the dance floor. As it spins, the lights bounce off it, like this. Oh, it's beautiful. I'd love to dance under that, Wendy. If we don't get started, nobody will be dancing under it. Come on. isn't here yet. Never mind. Spring City Rockets, let's practice! Don't worry, Brandon. I can't dance either. Everyone can dance, Lofty. You just need to find your own style. Let's go see how the dance floor looks. This way. I'm dancing. I can do it. I can. Dum de dum do da 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 de dum do. Come on, Mr. Bentley. I have to be perfect for tonight. Once. More with feeling. Gently, Bentley, bend the knees. <laughs> wow! It's huge! Imagine dancing on that, Sappy. Is this my dance floor? Sylvan! Yay! It isn't finished yet, Mr. D'Souza. We need to add the plywood layers and dance surface. I would like to see this, please. Of course. Lofty? Can you grab the plywood, please? It would be an honor, Bob. Watch us dance, Sylvan! I wish I could do that. Lofty! Uh... Oh, my dance floor! <gasps> Oh, no! Mr. D'Souza, oh. I'm so sorry! I should have known I was too big and clumsy to go near a dance floor, let alone dance on one. Please let me fix this for you. It was an accident. And he really does want to dance. Hmm. Don't tell anyone, but when I was a boy, I was a little bit, uh, well, not the right shape or size for dancing. Always knocking into things. Really? That's just like me. But I wanted to dance more than anything in my life. I refused to admit defeat. And I practiced and practiced until I became the superstar I am today. Never give up on your dreams, Lofty. Hello, my dance floor. Can you really fix it? Yes, we can. It's so beautiful. It's perfect. I need to get ready for my performance now. Thank you all. And you must remember always to follow your dreams. Uh, Yoo-hoo, so 
Well then, where's my dressing room? I've been practicing all day. Look, dum dee dum dum dee. Ah! Ah! My ankle. You cannot dance on this, Maria. Oh dear me! I have no other dance to open the show. Ow! Quel désastre! Uh, <clears throat> Wendy can dance. You can, Bob. <gasps> wow, Wendy! You're a pro! I won a few awards at high school. You just need to practice. She's amazing! Don't you agree, Mayor Madison? Mm-hmm. Not bad for a beginner. Okay, get ready and... Ah, Mayor Madison, we're all done. Your doors are no longer squeaking. We used a couple of drops of oil on the hinges and now you are squeak-free. We're trying to take a picture. No, oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Let's try again. Remember that this is going in the town hall newspaper. So say a big cheese. Cheese! Oh. Cheese! Why is Mila going to be in the newspaper? She's appearing on the children's TV game show. Where's the quiz? If she wins, She'll win a trophy for Spring City! That's awesome! Huh? Time to go to the TV studios! Now give me some Spring City Rockets luck! Go, go Mila! Mila! <laughs> Yay! Go Mila! Go Mila! Oh, oh, oh! <clears throat> What's wrong? We wanted to be in the audience and cheer on Mila together, but we couldn't get tickets. I've just had a super-duper idea. Bob can build an outdoor movie screen at the sports stadium. Then everyone in Spring City can watch. All of us together, under the stars. But, Mayor Madison, the Wizzy Quiz is tonight. Don't worry, Leo. I'm on it. Hey, guys, it's Bob. Hi, team. There's a build to be done at the sports stadium, and the whole of Spring City is counting on us. OK, team. You heard, Bob. Let's get to work. All together, we together. We're working as a team. It's me to be close, to have your family. Just hold it steady, Lofty. There. Done. One square frame to hold the giant TV. So what's next, Leo? Hmm. Let me check. Yoo-hoo, Lofty! You'll never guess what happened. I had a super-duper idea for me and the Spring City Rockets to make banners. But now we need your help to hang them. Oh, I would love to. Marvelous! Come this way. So, Lofty, next, I need your help to attach one, two supports to the back of the frame. Uh, Lofty? Where'd he go? Okay, I guess I can start building the support frames by myself then. Wow! Look at the size of it! How big is the remote control? Actually, this TV doesn't have a remote control. My tablet will pick up a signal and send it to the TV. Then the TV show appears on screen. 
Wow! Here, let me show you. Have you forgotten your password again? Everyone knows that. It's, it's Builder, builder number, number One! Oh, Bob. Here, all the banners are hung. High five to that! Oh, uh, yes. Um, hi, uh, five. Thanks, Mayor Madison. You are so cool for thinking to make banners. Cool? Me? Well, then, how about another super-duper idea? We could have a popcorn machine. I'll call Chef Taddy if you would go get it, Lofty. You right bet. Out. Can you help us, Lofty? Well, uh, Leo looks okay. So, yes, of course I can help you. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Ah, Lofty, thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the frames steady. I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. The TV should be working any moment now. The tablet's picked up the signal, but the picture's really fuzzy. How about now? Thank you, Dash Lightning. You saved Guys? the green slime monster. It was nothing. What do I always say? With a boom, boom, boom. lightning strike twice. Well, I guess the TV's working. Go, Lofty! <laughs> Go, Lofty! Anything else I can help with? How about a drink machine? One of those slushy things. I'm on it. Back to Chef Teddy's. Ah, well done, Leo. You finished the support frame all by yourself. Now all we need is the TV. Oh, Dash Lightning! Sorry, guys, but the TV so needs to be turned off I now. To... Oh! <laughs> Uh, Wendy, we need to take the TV to the stadium. Wendy! Bob, where have you been? We need to take the TV to the stadium. Now we have everything to cheer for Mila. Thanks, Lofty. Oh, that'll be two-ton with a giant TV screen. Lofty, get ready to lift the screen. And I'll make sure that Mayor Madison and the Spring City Rockets keep back. Okay, Lofty, lift it up. Hold it, Lofty. Newton, move out. No problem, Bob. Lofty, really carefully, please. Move the screen towards the frame. There. And finally, we can take away the scaffold towers. That all looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! The supports are falling too! Don't worry, I'll help! Quick, everyone! Let's move to a safe distance! Now the frame is breaking! Leo, what happened? Why did the supports come away from the frame? And why did the frame break? Uh, it wasn't Leo's fault. It was mine. I left Leo without any help because I wanted to help the Spring City Rockets instead. I am so sorry. But it is my fault. I never should have tried to do such a big job by myself. I'm sorry, Bob. <sighs> And I'm sorry, too. I kept asking for Lofty's help. Wow. That's a lot of sorries and a lot to fix. So what are we going to do? People will be arriving soon to watch Mila. 
Wendy, call Muck and Scoop. We're gonna need their help. Spring City Rockets and Mayor Madison, I need you to find something for people to sit on. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. And this time, Leo, I'll make sure I'm there to help you. So, Mila, to win the trophy for Spring City, here is your final question. What should you put on door hinges to stop them squeaking? Is it A, water, B, oil, or C, salt? I know. Bob used this on Mayor Madison's squeaky doors. The answer is B, oil. My squeaky doors. <laughs> Bob, do you think we could keep the TV in the yard? And whose idea was this? Wendy's. <sighs> oh, super snowboarding, kids! <laughs> awesome! JJ, don't forget to bend your knees. And Mila, lean into the slope as you turn. Here comes the jump. Get nice. What are they doing, Bob? It's called snowboarding, Scoop. It looks awesome! I wish I could go snowboarding! <laughs> hey, watch out, Scoop! Oops, sorry, Leo. I'm not going to win first prize at the Winter and Spring Festival tonight with the Headless Snowman. Oh, I love Winter and Spring. It's my favorite event in Spring City. <laughs> I can't understand why anyone would want to celebrate winter with a festival. Brrr. Give me a nice, hot, sunny beach in summer any day. I always have fun at the beach. Swimming in the sea? Playing with a beach ball? Building sand castles. Oh, I see. Hi, Bob! Wasn't that totally extreme? Yes, totally, um... Extreme! Wait till you see our snowboarding stunt show at the festival tonight. It's gonna be wicked! All right, that does sound very wicked. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Bob! <sighs> Hiya, Team Bob! <laughs> Here for a little snowboarding? Oh, yes! Can we, Bob? Well, we're not here for snowboarding, Sky. We've come to finish the chairlift. It will carry you all the way up the hill so you won't have to climb up the slope after every run. Cool! Awesome! If all goes to plan, and I can't see any reason why it won't, we'll have finished the chairlift well before your stunt show tonight, so you'll have plenty of time to practice on the slope. Oh, super! Thanks, Team Bob! In the meantime, I guess we'll have to hoof it up the hill. Come on, kids. Okay, team. We're going to build the top station where passengers will get off the chairlift. Then we'll put up the cable for the chairs. <sighs> Before we all catch a cold, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Good job, team. Let's take a break. Hi, Bob! No, whoa, whoa. Wow! The chairlift looks fantastic so far. You've earned yourself a free snowboarding lesson. Oh, well, I... Come uh, on, Bob! Um, okay. It can't be that hard, can it? 
Well, how do I look? Totally wicked. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. First, let's try standing up. Here, take my hand. It's okay, Sky. I'm all right. <clears throat> oh, whoa, oh, ow. Um, actually, I probably could use a hand, please, Sky. <laughs> so daisy. Okay. Let's try a nice, gentle S-shaped turn. Just like Mila and JJ. Hi, Bob! Bye, Bob! Looks easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh, that was more of a squiggle than an S-shape. <laughs> Is it supposed to hurt this much? The most important thing is to concentrate. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh! oh what? Are you okay? Oh, I really do not like winter. Wow! Bob was awesome at snowboarding! Can I have a spin on the snow too? I've only got snow chains for Lofty. You can't drive on the snow without them, or you'll slip and slide all over the place. But Muck's allowed on the snow and he's not wearing snow chains. That's because his tracks give him extra grip. Sorry, Scoop. I would have been awesome at snowboarding, too. Okay, Lofty. Lift the crossbeam up to me, and I'll secure it to the support tower. Fire it up, Leo. We're good to go. Okay, Bob. The chairlift is ready. Wicked! Would you snowboarders like to take the first ride? Yes, please! Thanks, Team Bob. Maybe I could take a really quick spin on the snow while no one's watching. Wow, what an amazing view. I can see my house from here. <laughs> Hiya, Teen Bob. <laughs> this is Bob. Look at me, everyone. This is totally extreme. That is extreme. Extremely dangerous. Are you okay up there? <laughs> We're fine, Bob. This is awesome. Hold on tight. I'm going to have to hit the emergency brake. But, Bob, the closest brake is all the way down at the base terminal. Then there's only one way. Here you go, Bob. Go, Bob! But watch out for my snowman. Ready to watch. Okay, Bob. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm really sorry for ruining your ski run. I just wanted to have fun on the snow like everyone else. Maybe I could make it up to you by building you a really big jump. Yes, please. That would be totally extreme. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, Scoop. We'll set up the night skiing lights while you build the jump. Let's go!
very cool city mayor. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to the Winter in Spring Festival. First prize in the snowman contest. Meet Snow Bob. It's modeled on you. <laughs> it's like looking in a mirror. Hey, super snowboarding, Bob. You caught some big air up there. <laughs> Thanks, Guy. Maybe winter's not so bad after all. <sighs> Although I'm still looking forward to summer. Great. Then I can teach you how to water ski. Oh, right. That does sound very wicked. This new state-of-the-art penguin pool is going to be amazing. I think the penguins are really going to enjoy their new home. Who are penguins? I don't see any penguins. Where are the penguins? Be <laughs> patient, Lofty. They're on their way. <laughs> They'll be here soon. Don't worry. Two tons bringing them over now. I hope everything will be ready when they get here. Of course it'll be ready. Not much to do now. And what about Scoop and Leo? They won't want to miss seeing the penguins arrive. They'll be back shortly, Muck. Just as soon as they finish the mayor's new fountain and pond at the town hall. So come on, team. Let's see if we can finish this job, too. is a most important visit, Mr. Bentley. Absolutely. And nothing can go wrong. And nothing will go wrong, Your Honor. That's what you always say, Mr. Bentley. Mayor Snipe can be very difficult to please. We must make sure he enjoys his visit to Spring City. Don't worry about that. I've drawn up a list of all the exciting places around town where we can take him. There's no way he will fail to enjoy himself. I do hope you're right. What? With Mayor Snipe. He's here? Yes. Already? Yes, please be quick. Trust him to arrive early. Come on. <laughs> well, it looks like those two have a busy day ahead of them. Ah, there. Well done, Leo. It's going to be great. Ready to start filling the pool. Where do you want this last rock, Bob? Uh, over there, I think, Lofty. I can't wait for the pool to be finished and see those penguins splashing around in it. Not so fast, Lofty. <laughs> Steady now. Oh, watch out! Oh, oh, no. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just so excited about seeing the penguins. Uh, there's a nasty crack in the glass. We can't fill the pool with water till we get that fixed. It'll need a new window. I just hope we have time before the penguins arrive. Good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Bob, where would you like these penguins? <laughs> Good question, Tuton. I'm afraid the pool isn't quite ready. Oh, dear. They're getting rather noisy back there. They shouldn't really stay in that crate much longer, Bob. Wow! What happened here? It was an accident. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Lofty. But we're going to need to find somewhere to keep those penguins happy while we're fixing the glass. Um, Bob? What is it, Lofty? I think I know where we can keep the penguins. Somewhere they'll be safe and happy. What about the new fountain at the town hall? The one Leo's been working on. Oh, yes, it's perfect. Mayor Madison is out all day, and you'll be finished here before she gets back. What do you say, Bob? I say, well done, Lofty. Let's go for it. Follow us, Tutan. 
Don't worry, penguins. You'll soon be splashing around without a care in the world. Okay, Wendy, Lofty, let's get fixing. Yes, Fixum Castle is a very fine example of medieval architecture. It's our oldest and most historic monument. Uh, do you have any ancient buildings in Riverdale, Mayor Snipe? Ancient buildings? I can't bear ancient buildings. A crumbling pile of old stones, if you ask me. Oh! Well, yes, you have a point there, I suppose. Uh, but Spring City has some fabulous new buildings. And that's exactly what we want to show you next. Let's get those penguins out of that crate and into the water. Penguins? <laughs> Delightful creatures. They're not going to fly away, are they? Oh, no. They haven't got wings, you know. Those are flippers. They can swim, but they can't fly. They can hop by the look of it. They seem to like it, though. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as their new pool is ready, we'll take them back to the zoo. Perfect. As you can see, this magnificent stadium is Spring City's pride and joy. And home to some of our greatest sporting triumphs. I'm not very keen on sports. Lots of running around, jumping, kicking balls, not my thing. Okay, right. You don't like sports. <laughs> but I think we have something you definitely will like. We do, don't we, Mr. Bentley? Yes, yes. This one is sure to be a winner. Here's the new window, Bob! Excellent. Okay, everyone. We need to get those penguins into their new pool as soon as possible. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! One scoop. Oh, I'm not that way. No, stay away from the road. Stop. Oh, it's lucky Mayor Madison isn't around to see all this. It's okay, Scoop. She won't be back for hours. As soon as that window's fixed, we can get these penguins back to the zoo. Whoa, not over there. Hey, get back in the pond. Hey, you. Ooh. Welcome to the flying saucepan. The finest food with the best views in Spring City. Can I get you a wee bite to eat? This building, it, it appears to be moving. Exactly. It's a revolving restaurant. A magnificent miracle of mechanical engineering. Fancy a plate of haggis and beets. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, dear. Maybe we'd better cut short the visit and get you back to Town Hall. <laughs> this visit has been a complete disaster. I thought you said nothing could go wrong. Maybe he would like an ice cream? Oh, I wish that penguin pool was ready. This reminds me of my time in South America. Where's Bob? What's happening? What's going on here? Who is responsible for this? Disgraceful. This? Outrageous. Circus. I am so sorry for this fiasco, Mayor Snipe. Rockhoppers? Uh, excuse me? Rockhopper penguins. Aren't they extraordinary? So lively and full of fun. What? 
Uh, yes, very nice. How did you know that I love penguins? Um, uh, well, I... Uh... And you planned out this wonderful treat just for me. Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. Uh-oh. Hi, Bob! Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh, right. And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of your visit. Oh, yes, please. I'd love that. Marvelous. Come on, everybody. What are we waiting for? I now declare Spring City's new Antarctic penguin experience officially open. This has been the best visit ever. Thank you so much, Mayor Madison. And thank you, Mr. Bentley. Oh, well, uh, that's... Uh... And thank you, Bob. Once again, you've saved the day. Mayor Townley is visiting next week. Really? I hear he likes elephants. What? Yee-haw! Faster, Lofty! Gallop, gallop! Uh, Leo, I'm a queen. Not a racehorse. Uh, then gallop in top gear. Hi, Henry. We're here. Howdy doody, horses. Jockeys, please dismount. Ah, uh, that means jump down, Leo. I'm not a jockey. <laughs> A cowboy! Woohoo! Well, builders and cowboys don't really mix. Leo, you'll be pleased that we're here to build extra stables for those horses we just saw. They're not just any horses, Bob. They're thoroughbred race horses. They're extra fast and extra nervous. I've been trying to catch them all morning. So please don't scare them again. Can he keep the noise down? Not really, Henry. But I don't want to hear beep beep in my yard, only clip clop. <laughs> well, now the panels are here, we can get started. Don't worry, you'll have your stables in no time. Good. It's the Spring City Sprint tomorrow. Those horses need a good night's sleep before the big race. Right then, team, let's get started. Leo, you'll be unloading stable panels from two times. Yes, sirree! Scoop and Lofty, you'll be holding the panels in position while Wendy and I fix them together. Muck, you'll be shifting straw bales. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Two-ton, this yard ain't big enough for the two of us. Okay, Leo, I'm just gonna mosey on down that open road. Thanks, Two-ton. You're very welcome. And remember, forwards this time. Don't scare the clip clocks with your beep beeps. Gently does it. So, just the roof section left to attach. That'll hold the whole structure firmly together. And I'm ready to make the horses' beds extra comfortable. If I ever manage to catch them to bring them in. Well, I don't know where Leo's got to, but we'll have to move on and fit the roof without him. Yee-haw! Ride him, cowboy! <laughs> when you're ready, Wendy. Lofty, prepare to lower. Okay. 
And lower. <laughs> no, 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 no. <gasps> I told you, please no. don't scare the horses. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot. This is a racetrack, not a rodeo. <laughs> of straw bales and we're done. That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Where are my racehorses? Uh, they went that away. No, they're heading for the racetrack. I'll never catch them now. I think I know how to get those horses back. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. Let's head them off at the pass. Hey, eh? Well, not you too, Bob. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. But Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now, let's go! Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <gasps> it's not fast enough. It's not going to reach in time. you grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. <gasps> well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing to it but hard work and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, Muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Muck back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. Nowhere for them to sleep? Hang on, Bob. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah? <laughs> no, Pilchard, it's not for you. Good night, Muck. Night, night. Sleep tight. Make sure your brakes on right. <laughs> Thank you for giving up your bays for the night. You were right, Leo. Our machine bays are just like horse stables, just bigger. Yep, three bays for three tired horses, three buckets of oats, and three buckets of water. Ah, I feel like a real cowboy now. Yeah. Look at us all sleeping under the stars. 
It's just like the Wild West. Well done, Cowboy Leo. You made that into a real Wild West roundup. <laughs> But we did it. Those racehorses will sleep well in their new stables tonight. They're not the only ones. Oh, I think the race is about to begin. Settle my ponies. Here we go. I don't think Roland wants anyone playing with his toys, Leo. Welcome to my new warehouse, Bob. What do you think? Wow! <gasps> it's huge, Roland. Can you run this place all on your own? No. That's why I need you to install this robotic picking system and all its robot picker arms. Wow, robot picker arms! What will they do? They'll do all the work. They'll be able to grab a gift from here and take it all the way over to here. The gift will then move along to here, get wrapped up, and then put through this chute where it'll drop into a delivery van outside. And you need this picking system up and running by tomorrow evening? Yeah, by 8 o'clock. Otherwise, my customers won't get their presents in time for Christmas. No problem, Roland. We'll get started. And I'll get going. I've got a long list of orders to go through. Look! I'm a robot picker arm! Actually, there's a bit more to robot arms than a few jerky moves. I know, because I built one at school. Was it a robot arm made from old toilet rolls and lots of glitter, Leo? No, Scoop. It was a real one. With Wendy off on her Christmas holidays, I'll need all your expert help, Leo. Just look how big the instruction manual is. I don't need to look at that, Bob. I know all about robotics. Great! Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Most of the picking system is in place, Roland. Just a couple more robot picker arms to install. Great work. Let's test it out. Right. Say I got an order from someone in Riverdale for a soccer ball. So the ball is in position five, shelf three, row K. to the conveyor belt, which takes it into the wrapper, and out to the delivery van. Perfect. Now that is impressive. Awesome. It's controlled by this tablet. Provided all the toys are in their correct places on the shelves, it all runs like clockwork. And I make that lunch. Excuse me, fellas. I have a meeting with a nice cheese sandwich. Now, Scoop, Muck, I need you to clean up all this packaging. Okay, Bob. Lofty, when Leo and I are in position, can you lift up this next picker arm? Sure thing, Bob. Hey, 
Hey, look, Scoop. I'm a robot picker arm. Yeah, that's pretty good, Muck, but I think I'm better. No, you're not. Look at me. There we go. Just one more picker arm to go. I'll go down and load up another pallet for Lofty. Thanks, Leo. Okay, Lofty, settle it once and for all. Who of me and Mug does the best robot picker impression? I can't tell. What's going on? We're pretending to be robot picker arms. Will you start them so we can see them again? No way! I need to get Lofty loaded up. Are you sure you know about robotics? Yes, I do. I could easily work these things. Ha! <laughs> Go on, then. Okay, I'll show you. One, two, uh, three. Look, it's simple. I can pick this doll up, and I can put it wherever I like. Wow, Leo, you're amazing! Hmm. Looks like I'll need a bigger wrench. Hi, Roland. Hi, Bob. I got bad news. Uh, the weather forecast says there's a giant snowstorm on the way. Oh, dear. That means more snow on the roads. Exactly. It's gonna take my delivery vans a lot longer to get the gifts to my customers. So now, I need everything ready by 7 o'clock this evening. Don't worry, Roland. We'll have it all up and running in time. <laughs> You probably shouldn't be doing that without using the manual. It's all right, Lofty. I know all about robotics. Look, I'm making Rudolph fly. Come in, Leo. Come in, Leo. Oh, hi, Bob. Listen, there's a storm coming. We need to have the picking system up and running by this evening. Oh, really? Okay. I need you back up here quick. Oh, and can you bring up my one and a quarter inch wrench? Sure thing. Great. Thanks, Leo. Look, I'm a robot picker arm. No, you're not. Look at me. Okay, that's enough fun, you two. We need to get back to work. I'm switching it off. But you've jumbled up all the toys, Leo. They're all in the wrong places. Uh, that's okay. I'll put them back. Uh, okay, so this teddy here goes back here on the teddy shelf. Oh, no. There's a skateboard and a jigsaw on the teddy shelf. Where's the skateboard shelf? Uh, I don't know. Where's the jigsaw shelf? Uh... What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just a tiny bit confused. Oh, no. Why don't you press the undo button a few times? That's a good idea, Scoop. Oh. Woke it up. Uh oh, this is very bad. Does Minnie's enjoying it? I've never seen Leo move so quickly. Come on, Leo, where are you? I really need that wrench. Ah, there you are. Have you got my, uh, wrench? Uh, no, because a robot arm got me! Uh, oh, no! Uh, oh, no! Bob, I've been boxed up. It's all right. I'll get you out. Oh, dear. My robotic picking system. It's not responding. Oh, no. I should have never touched it. I am so sorry. Can it be reprogrammed, Roland? Yeah, but that's going to take ages. Oh, we'll never get all the toys into the delivery vans by the end of the day now. Oh. 
I've ruined Christmas. We'll figure something out. Come on, Robo, pick her arm, get to work. <laughs> hey, what if we all pretended to be the robot picker arms? Maybe we could get all the gifts in the vans. That is a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. toys off to be delivered. We did it, team! Yeah! And I managed to fix the picking system, too. Thank you so much, Bob. But, Roland, look! We missed one of the gifts. Oh, someone's not going to get their Christmas present. Oh, yes, they are. Because this is an early Christmas present from me to Leo. Oh, wow! Thanks! You can open it now. Oh, uh, oh, it's the manual for the robots. Yeah, I've read it. I thought you might like to as well. What do you say, Leo? Um, can I swap it for the reindeer? I think this is going to be one of the biggest things we've ever built! Yeah, they don't come much bigger than skyscrapers. Bob says it'll be about ten times taller than me at full stretch. Whoa! Now, team, we're ready to start digging the foundations for the skyscraper. We're going to dig a deep hole about the size of three school buses stacked up. So, where are the buses? Instead of actual buses, we're going to use my laser measure. It'll tell us when we've got to the right depth. Look, Scoop is exactly 18.47 feet away from me. Well, hey! How far's that, then? That's about half a school bus long. And this empty mug is exactly four inches deep. Hold on, team. It's Mayor Madison calling. I better answer this. Mm, I love digging new ground. It's all fresh and new and ready to be scooped. And I can't wait to get stuck into all that muck. No machine can dig faster and deeper than me. Hey! I bet I can clear the earth away quicker than you can dig it. Ho <laughs> ho! We'll soon see about that. You two young fellas ready to load me up? Ready! That's right! Hold your horsepower, you two. Wait for Bob's signal. Oh. Well, we can certainly try. Hello, Mayor Madison. Oh, hello, Wendy. I was just saying to Bob, we can't afford to mess around on this one. I want to see that skyscraper pronto! You can't exactly rush a skyscraper, Mayor. You have to dig down before you can build up. Great. So off you go and get digging, then. Bye now! Ah, so the Mayor stopped his digging to tell us to hurry up with the digging. Did you hear that, Muck? That is a direct order from Mayor Madison to get digging! Let the challenge begin! Team, good work. Let's see if we're near the correct depth. Hmm, now what? Yes, Mayor Madison, we're digging. Okay. Let's take a break, everyone. Oh, we were only just getting going. Why are people always taking breaks? Us machines don't need to. <laughs> Whoa! 
I got carried away trying to race Scoop. Is Scoop still digging? Yes, faster than ever. Scoop, you can stop digging now. I've stopped. You win. <laughs> nice try, Max, but I'm not falling for that one. You just want me to stop, so you can win. No, I don't care about losing the challenge. Well, I do. I know the feeling. These are exciting times for uh, Bob. Nothing says busy, bustling business like a skyscraper does. Bob? Wendy? Hmm. You've gone much too deep, Scoop. I said as deep as three school buses, remember? You could fit a whole fleet of buses in there. Right. Let's see what you've hit. It looks like some kind of wall. Let's just fill the hole up again. Sorry, Muck, but when you find something unexpected in the ground, you have to stop work. It's hard to tell for certain, but this wall could be really old and special. I'll go and call Anish Bose, the archaeologist. The archi what just Archaeologist. They're people who help teach us about the olden days by finding things that have been buried underground for hundreds of years. Huh? They're experts in digging stuff up. I thought that was me. <laughs> I think you've done enough digging for today, Scoop. Yes, there is no doubt. This is one of the most exciting discoveries in years. This is extremely bad news. Underneath this earth lies the remains of a wall from Roman times. From a fort or a villa, probably. Oh, Roman. What's that? The Romans were people who lived here about 2,000 years ago. They were excellent builders. Ooh, just like us. Talking of building, Professor Bose, when can we get building again? Well, hard to say, but this dig is going to take at least a month. A, a month? month? That's ages. I did all that in just one morning. Aha, but unlike you, we have to dig very slowly and very carefully. Well, no wonder it takes so long. Your brushes are way too tiny. Well, looks like we've got no choice. We'll have to stop working. Hello, everyone. Oh, dear. I've come to get a progress report for the mayor. Sorry, Mr. Bentley. I'm afraid there won't be any progress. No progress? Oh, dear me, no. Mayor Madison won't be at all happy. I... Why don't you come to my office? Have a nice cup of tea. The mugs are four inches deep. Well, that certainly is generous. <laughs> See what the fuss is all about. Looks like a load of broken flower pots to me. Not a flower pot, Mr. Scoop. This amphora was what the Romans used for water. Ah, now what do we have here? But what am I going to tell Mayor Madison? She'll think this is absolutely <gasps> fascinating. If I'm not mistaken, that's part of a Roman hodometer. Come and see, Bob. You're going to find this very interesting. The hodometer. It was used to measure distance. Ah, just like my laser measure. Instead of a laser, this used a little wheel to measure distance. <laughs> that would have taken ages. Yes, no engines to speed up the work in Roman time. Just people using handmade tools, pulleys, and cranes. Truly incredible. Hi, Scoop. Not much of a building site when you can't build, hey? Oh, Bob, it's all my fault. And I can't even help the Arky Watsits with their digging because they use tiny little brushes and I'm a big, clumsy machine. Never mind, Scoop. You'd be better off without me, just like the Romans. Big machines just make big mistakes for lots of people to come and stare at. <laughs> There's no way I could do my job without big machines like you. Really? Yeah. And those people don't think it's a mistake. They think it's amazing. I mean, you don't see Roman ruins every day. 
Hang on. What is it, Bob? I've got an idea. Scoop, gather the team. Now, team, we're not going to sit around twiddling our thumbs. Oh, good. I was bored to my brake pads. Everyone wants to watch the excavation. So, let's build them a viewing gallery that'll be safe. Yes, Bob! And Scoop, we definitely do need your help because we have to build this one fast. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! to see the hodometer. Where's Mr. Bentley? And what on earth is going on here? Over here, Mayor Madison. This isn't a skyscraper. No, indeed. It's much more interesting than that. It's the remains of a Roman fort. Come and have a look. Oh, look, there's Spring City TV. We are thrilled to have found Roman history underneath Spring City. From the ruins of the past springs the city of the future. Because after all, you've got to dig down before you can build up. Well said, Mayor Madison. Hey, that's what I said. She took my line. Bob, did you hear that? An excellent job so far, Bob. But the mayor wants a private preview tonight. Riverdale is opening its dinosaur experience next week. And she wants to be sure we've got something better. Oh, we'll be ready, Mr. Bentley. Good job. Ah! I remember building this path. Bob, it winds all the way down to the cliff. I thought we finished it. Not quite, Scoop. The mayor's decided this will be Fixum's new Dino Park attraction with life-size models of dinosaurs. What's a dinosaur? They were huge lizards that lived a very, very long time ago. Uh, how many dinosaurs will there be? Five. An Ankylosaurus, <gasps> an Iguanodon, a Stegosaurus, oh. and a Pterodactyl. Uh oh That's only four dinosaurs, Bob. And there'll be one special Triceratops model that can move and roar. Whoa. That makes five. So lots of dinosaurs are coming? The dinosaurs are only models. Don't be scared, Muck. I'm not scared. We need to add gates, signs, and position the dinosaur models along the route. Let's get going, team. Was that a dinosaur? Oh no, the dinosaur might get me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh fuck, did you think I was a big yellow dinosaur? No need to be spooked, Muck. I don't think I like dinosaurs. Actually, when I was a small boy, I was frightened of them too. You were scared, Leo? Do you know how I got over it? How? I pretended to roar like a dinosaur, as loud as I could, like this. Roar. Try it, Muck. Okay. <gasps> like that? <laughs> that sounded fierce. Do you feel better? A little bit. Thank you, Leo. We need some more wood chips to finish this path. Would you two go and fetch some? Sure, Bob. If you're waiting for a dinosaur, it's your lucky day. Wow, which dinosaur is this, Bob? It's called 
an iguanodon. And there are lots more to come. Here's the star of the show, Bob. One Triceratops at your service. Perfect. Thanks, Tutan. Okay, Lofty. Place it among the bushes. Great. Now to test it. Now, the Triceratops has to go here because this is where we installed its power cable. Is this the one that moves, Bob? Oh, can we see? It's not moving. Well, the model has built-in detectors at the front. It only moves when someone gets close. Try it, Scoop. Ooh. Great. Okay, guys, can I leave you to put the rest of the models in their places while I paint the entrance gates? Sure, Bob. Will do. Great. The Triceratops does look quite scary with those horns. Mm-hmm. How about we surprise Leo? How can we do that? He won't expect to see a moving dinosaur blocking the path. Dinosaurs. Remember, Muck, they're not real. If you say so, Leo. Leo, come see what we've found. Hmm. Hey, Scoop. Scoop, what have you found? So is alive! Oh, take cover, Bob! Go away, go away! Go away, go away, go away! Oh, Muck, what have you done? I'm sorry, Bob. I forgot that it was only a model. I thought it was real. It definitely sounded real. Why was the Triceratops in the middle of the path, guys? Sorry, Bob. We weren't trying to scare Muck. We just wanted to surprise Leo. He said he was scared of dinosaurs. But I grew out of that a long time ago, Lofty. Now we've lost the Dino Park's main attraction. Huh? And there isn't much time before Mayor Madison arrives. Bob, look! Don't go too close to the edge, Scoop. The Triceratops is only halfway down the cliff. And in one piece! Hmm. If we can reach it, we can still get the park finished in time. But how? It's a long way down. I'll rappel down the cliff. <gasps> awesome. Okay, Scoop. You'll be my anchor. So you need to stay still and keep your brakes on. Understood, Bob. Lofty, you lower your hook when I say. Yes, Bob. <sighs> <sighs> okay, Lofty, you can lower it down. Right o. <sighs> Take us up, Lofty. Bob's a dinosaur riding cowboy. We did it! It's not over yet, Lofty. We need to hurry and get this park finished. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Madison, we're almost ready for your visit to Dino Park. Excellent! Bob, I'm so looking forward to seeing it. As am I. The beasts of the Cretaceous era are a special interest of mine. Especially our prized Triceratops. 
The Riverdale models don't move, you know. Oops, sorry. I forgot something. Just wait two minutes. Okay, guys, we're done. Not quite! Huh? Huh? Why isn't it making any noise? The fall must have broken its roar. And the mayor is here. There's no time to fix it. Wait! I know someone who can make a good roaring noise. Who's that, then? Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, Bob. I'm just glad you finished the park on schedule. Shall we? Oh! Very impressive. Oh, that's brilliant! Fantastic! Oh! <gasps> Isn't it meant to make a sound? Oh. Ugh. <clears throat> well, yes, I I'm not certain Triceratops would have sounded like that. It sounded very realistic to me. <laughs> I like pretending to be a dinosaur. Huh. Where did Scoop and Lofty go? Were you scared? Uh, maybe just a little. I wasn't. I was, uh, helping Lofty. Okay, I admit it. Muck can make the scariest dinosaur sound. Don't you think, Bob? 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 Yes, <laughs> he's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. <clears throat> not bad at all. <laughs> not bad at all. All right, team. Today we're going to work on an elevator for the skyscraper. Awesome! Woo -hoo! Yay! Um, an elevator? Well, Muck. When you've got a building as tall as this, it's far too high to get up and down using the stairs. So, we build a little carriage you can ride called an elevator. Press a button, and it will take you all the way to the top. Where you can see all of Spring City. Wow! All of Spring City! I want to see all of Spring City! Can I ride the elevator? Please, 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 please! Sorry, Scoop. I think you're a bit too big for the elevator. Yeah! Your back end would hang out. Oh. Tiny, can we have the loading cage, please? Coming right down, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. Now we'll head up to the top and get started. Can you guys load those materials into the cage for us, please? No problem, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, yes we can. can. Sorry I'm late. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. Hi, team. Hi, Hi Mayor Madison. Madison. Hello, hello, Mr. Mr. Bentley. Bentley. Oh, <laughs> hello, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. That will do. Now, Bob, I'd like to go up to the top floor, please. There may be a bit of a problem with that. We haven't put the elevator in yet. But I have to get my photo taken at the top for the cover of tomorrow's Spring City Chronicle. A mayor surveys her city. We're just about to start installing it now. Maybe you could come back later? Oh. There is the service one. No, I don't think so. We'll come back later. Mr. Bentley? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> we could come back at four. Four? Four it is, then. That means I'll have plenty of time to get my hair done. A mayor always has to look her best. Well, if the mayor wants to go to the top at four, we better get moving. Okay, little guys, load me up. Oh, I wish I could see the view from the top. All of Spring City. You're okay, Gull. You can go to the top of the skyscraper any time you like. All packed and ready to go, Tiny! 
time for some tower power. Wait a minute. Maybe I can get to the top of the skyscraper. And I won't need to wait. Let's get this motor up and running. Leo and I will bolt it into place, and Wendy, you can wire it in. Okay, okay Bob. Bob. cage down again, please. We've got an extra heavy load to send up for Bob. Coming right down. One extra heavy load coming up. What are you doing, Scoop? I'm going to see everything in Spring City. Um, I really don't think that's a good idea. Don't you worry about me, Lofty. I'll keep my wheels inside the car at all times. Extra heavy load for the top floor, Tiny. Time for some more tower power! I'm going up! I'm going up! I'm still going up! Oh, no! Well, this is higher than I thought! Can you see all of Spring City, Scoop? Yes! All of it, Mark! What does it look like? A long way down. I don't think he likes it as much as he thought he would. Okay, now we've just got to install the elevator car and the... That sounds like school. Oh, no! What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Stay in the middle, Whoa. Scoop! It'll Whoa. help you balance! Whoa. Whoa! Tiny! You need to lower the cage. Scoop's on board. Okay, Bob. Going down. Whoa. Oh, oh, my! Oh, no! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no! Where did he go? Scoop, are you all right? Oh, no! I'm balancing! But I'm not good at balancing! What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy, we're going to need the welding equipment. Okay, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. Okay, Tiny. Take me up. Nearly there. Take it in steady. Slow down and stop. Perfect. Scoop? Bob! I need you to roll carefully towards me. I don't think I can move. You have to. I need to get you down. I'm really sorry, Bob. Now my medicine will come back and there's no elevator. It'll be fine. Come on. Just move towards me. I can't. Okay. Then I'm coming to get you. Bob's walking across the beam. No, Bob. That's dangerous. Stay where you are. I'm coming. Okay then, Scoop. Take it really slowly. Keep going, Scoop. Keep your wheels in line. That's good. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny. Well done. Now keep your brakes on. Take us down slowly, Tiny. Are we nearly down yet, Bob? 
Nearly, Scoop. Nearly. I'm sorry, everyone. I just really wanted to go up to the top and see all of Spring City. I said it was a bad idea. Well, at least you're okay. But it was a really silly thing to do. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. Right. If we all work together, we might still get the job done in time. Done. Hello, team. Mayor Madison. My hair is done, and I'm ready for my photo at the top of the skyscraper. You'll have to wear one of these if you're going to the top of the skyscraper. Oh. Okay. We just need the elevator. One for you, too, Mr. Bentley. Oh, thank you, Leo. Uh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Going up all the way to the top. Well, at least you got to see all of Spring City, Scoop. I did. But I think this digger will be keeping his wheels firmly on the ground from now on. Ready for my close-up, Mr. Bentley? Oh, uh... No, 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 shoo! 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 Get, get off! Get off! Not sure she looks quite her best. <laughs> I've seen her look better. Get off! Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley! Get some bird seed! So, we've got all the building done. Just the parking lot to lay and a few inside things to finish off before the grand opening. Wow! Look at that giant milkshake! It's spectacular. It'll be even more spectacular when it's spinning around. Spinning around? But that'll spill all the milkshake. It's not a real milkshake, Muck. It's a model. I knew that. And I'm going to be putting in the motor and all the electrical to make it work. Oh, Chip Tutty's milkshake bar will be such a fun place. Oh, you better, Will. Chef Tutty. Yay! Hola. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. Good day. What are you doing here, Chef? We're not quite finished. I know, but while you're creating my milkshake bar, I'll be creating the Tattylicious Shake-Tastic Surprise. The Wattylicious Wattastic Watty? My milkshake bar special milkshake. Brilliant! What's in it? Oh, I've got no idea. I love experimenting with new ingredients. I just mix them all up and see what comes out. Wow. Okay then, team, let's get started. Muck, you'll be laying the aggregate. Lofty, you'll be shifting materials. And Scoop, you'll be mixing the concrete for the parking lot with two ton. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! You know Chef Tatty's milkshake bar is going to be a really fun place? Well, I thought we could do something a bit more fun with the concrete. More fun? You know, experiment with some new ingredients. Mix something up. See what comes out. Oh, no, no, no. You don't mess with concrete, Scoop. We'll be making the usual concrete. The, uh, usual? Concrete? Oh, yes. Flat, smooth, and very, very gray. Oh. Now, I need someone to test out my milkshake creations and tell me which one is truly the most shake-tastic. I'm not sure I could really tell if something was shake-tastic. Oh, it's easy. All you have to do is just savor the frothy, creamy, sweet 
fruity, yummy scrumptiousness and say what you think. I'll do it. Okay. I'll try them out. We've got ourselves a tea stop. Hey, Scoop. How's it going? Not great. I wanted to make fun concrete for Chef Tatty's milkshake bar, but Tootun just wants to make the usual concrete. A handful of those, and a big dollop of that. Let's try a bit of this, and one of those. A couple of these boys. Ah, yes. Mmm, mmm. I love trying new mixtures and creating new colours. Now, let's mix it all up. There you go, the tatty licious shake tastic surprise. At version one. Mm, that is truly shake tastic. Mmm. Um, it's okay, tastic? Ooh, only okay tastic, eh? Well, I need more than OK-tastic from Bob. Let's try and mix up something else. There's no way I am going to be making the usual concrete. Today, I will be mixing up the Scoopalicious Concrete-tastic surprise. Uh, are you sure Two-Ton will be OK with that? Two-Ton doesn't have to know. Uh... I'm back and ready to mix, Tutan. Now, remember, Scoop. Always measure out the ingredients correctly or it just won't work. That's two parts cement, two parts aggregate, one part water, one part sand. All right, Tutan, got that. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the usual concrete. And this will be nothing like the usual concrete. Scoop. Oh, yes, two tons, so let's max it all up. So, Wendy, what do you think of version three? Have we found Shake Tastic yet? They were all great. That one was a delicious combination of sweet and savoury. That one was a party in your mouth, and that one was an explosion of foamy delight. Mm. Oh, not bad then. Bob? Hmm. Um, that one was, um, sort of pink? Pink? Hmm. We're off now, everyone. Let's finish everything in the morning. OK, Bob. We'll just finish laying the concrete and meet you back at the yard. Well, that's done. Let's get back. Woo -woo. Come on, Tintan. No, this way. What's the matter? I'm a bit worried about your scoopalicious, concrete-tastic, whatever you call it. No need to worry, Muck. I guarantee that by the end of the day, everyone will be talking about it. Wow, my concrete looks amazing! It's so colourful and fun and... and squishy and sticky. Uh oh! Scoop, this concrete's not dry. Oh? This concrete isn't dry. I know, Lofty. Ew! Oh no! Why is all my concrete?
concrete dry. I don't understand it. Come on, Scoop. Back up. Back up. This is the strangest concrete I've ever seen. I can't believe we left it all night and it's still not dry. Well, you were right about one thing, Scoop. Everyone's talking about your concrete. Oh, Bob. This is all my fault. Anyone can make a mistake, Scoop. It wasn't a mistake, Bob. I did it on purpose. On purpose? When I saw Chef Tatty experimenting with different colors and ingredients, it looked like so much fun, I wanted to try something fun too. I'm really sorry, Bob. I'll go and clear it all off. You know, I'd never have created my legendary purple fizzle crush chunky delight if I hadn't tried mixing red currants, rhubarb, and cheesy crackers. That sounds, um, interesting. But it's given me an idea. Muck, take me back to the yard. OK, Scoop, I want you to try again using some fun ingredients that don't come out of the dumpster. Wow. Yellow, red, and blue cement. And crunchy gravel chunks, too. And it's quick drying. And I know. It's way better than that other mess you made, Scoop. Thanks, Muck. Okay, this is my last try at creating the tatalicious shake-tastic surprise. That's it. That is truly shake-tastic. What did you put in it, Chef? Strawberry. Just plain strawberry. Because sometimes the usual is the best. Mmm. Maybe it needs a touch more vanilla. 